Supporters are calling it a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a town in northeast Hampshire. Today, residents of Borden are due to find out if an eco-town will be developed on Ministry of Defence land. The project is dependent on the land being given up by the army. That was thrown into doubt following the defence spending review, and the eco-town looked far from certain. If the army does go ahead, go around, 2,000 civilian jobs will be lost in the area. The developers say that will be mitigated by 7,000 jobs they hope to create during the eco-town's construction. But those opposed to the plan claim 5,500 new homes will destroy the natural environment and increase traffic and noise. Well, our reporter David Allard is in Borden for this, for us this lunchtime. David, uh, is this make or break then for us? Well, it could be. This afternoon, the Defence Secretary, Liam Fox, will outline a radical overhaul for the armed forces. But what people here in Borden want to know is whether or not the Army Engineering Training Base, been, they've been here for more than 100 years, whether that will close, as expected, in 2015 to 16. Now, dependent on that decision are these plans to turn Borden into an eco-town. There's already a master plan in place, but there's a lot of uncertainty among local people. They really should be concentrating their efforts, actually, today and try and actually better the facilities we have, not sometime in the future with an eco-town or whatever, etc. Et Today is what counts. I like the idea of the eco-town, but they seem to be changing their minds about it as to what they're actually going to do. Um, so hopefully we'll actually, get, actually know what's going to happen. Well, Borden's already received around £10 million to kick-start this eco-town status. That's being spent on things like a scheme to introduce loft and cavity wall insulation for local people, a fitness trail and eco-show homes. But there is a, a bigger master plan. It has much bigger plans to improve the transport infrastructure and so on, and uh, also improve facilities for local people. We have no doubt that we can get um, a development stroke investment partner and that together um, with the development, with, um, with housing, with um, retail and commercial, and that all together we can find the funding to bring in this infrastructure. Well, that's what the council have to say, but by no means everyone is in support of this vision. I'm joined by Jack Warshaw from the campaign group BAG. Now, Jack, if the army does move out, the Eco Town would seem the ideal scheme to regenerate the area. Why do, why do you object? because it won't regenerate the area and we know that because people themselves have told us in very large numbers that they feel themselves to be the victims of a politically motivated and money driven scheme which was hatched in the back room years before an eco town was even thought of what would you like to see happen then if the army does move out briefly we'd like to see a better plan for genuine reuse of brownfield land that's land that's previously developed it is the case that the council's proposal in their master plan, first of all, will build mostly on greenfield land, on woodland, on playing fields and other open spaces, including protected wildlife areas. OK, Jack, well, people will have a chance to have much more say when consultation continues on the master plan in September. In the meantime, everyone in Borden will be listening out for Liam Fox's statement. Back to you. David and Borden, thank you.